Good afternoon and welcome once again to my daily chat. This is Facebook Live by the way in case you're watching on YouTube. I'll get to that later on. Uh, today's episode is seven, um, no, seven episode, <clears throat> try that one again. <laughs> this is episode 719 and the topic today is better communication. How to ask for what you want the right way. I'm calling it better communication because I've got a few of these brewing so I might do a, a quick series. But the first one today is about how to ask for what you want the right way. And I'll give you context and framing and solution in a moment. Before I do that, let me introduce myself so you know who I am and what I'm about and why I've been doing all these talks every day for the last two plus years. My name is Barry Selby, in case you didn't figure that out already. I am a best selling author, inspirational speaker, and relationship attraction expert. I'm actually becoming a relationship with self expert, which is coming the new things coming forward. And I help women, particularly, help create balance in love, life, and business. Um, because I'm a passionate champion for the Divine Feminine. I also, it's also inspired these talks I've done now for over two years since December 2016, called Messages from the Masculine Inspiring a Feminine Heart. That name may evolve because things are shifting for me quite radically at the moment. But anyway, so today we're episode 719, and the topic today is better communication, how to ask for what you want the right way. Now, how do I start this? <laughs> so, well, this that this this teaching moment, this this suggestion came from a conversation with a friend of mine who was just going through a real bad time with his girlfriend, um, because she. Let me let me frame it this way: the way he said it to me. So I'm not saying what I saw because I didn't see it. I, what he said it to me was, she was very attached to a particular way of doing something, and it was pissing him off. And instead of doing what I'm going to suggest, which I told him afterwards. He basically is like, stop doing that. It's not working. I want, you know, need to do something different. And it was very confrontive. And because she happened to be, as he put it, a very hot-blooded woman, it didn't go so well. So in, I'm going to use this context to frame this particular point. And I may have some other spin-offs because as you've watched my broadcast before, I often get um, downloads and inspiration from other places. So this one, it came very clear when I was talking to him about it. I said, well, here's the thing. There's a miscommunication going on here. And I said, and what he said was, there's a missed communication going on here. Not miscommunication, a missed communication, very different. And to put it simply, what I suggested in that moment was that, and this is something I've heard many times before, and you probably know if you've ever been in um, negotiation trainings or sales trainings, this is, I think comes from that orig original direction which is the fact that he was looking to change what she was doing but didn't offer any sort of um, appreciation or invitation to change. It was more like demand. This is the way it's supposed to be. When you're asking... Sorry, I'm an itch. I was <laughs> scratching my face in the middle of the video. If you are in a place where you want someone to do something for you or you want to have somebody do something with you or change something they're doing for you, this is a key. So to ask for what you want begins by not asking for what you want, but by telling them something they probably want to hear. And this is where the nuance happens. Simply put, what I suggested to my friend was complimenting her honestly and authentically about something that is working, then asking her to change something else because it's not working for you. The thing is, is the way you're saying it was, was, you know, what, what I sort of framed him was, you know, I appreciate what you're doing for me. However, this isn't working for me the way I want it to work. What I'd rather have happen is this. So it's a redirect rather than a complete block and confront energetically. Now, the appreciation piece at the beginning must be authentic. You can't do something like, um, <laughs> what dropped into my mind earlier was, um, wow, I love the way you look today. You can have a million dollars. That doesn't work. It's, it's, it's an actual reframe and an appreciation of what's happening. So you can redirect. And again, it's, instead of being a block, it's a redirect. It's almost martial artist in a way. It's rather than just simply just going block, 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 which is what, what is ineffective in martial arts, generally speaking. It's a redirection energy. So in conversation, in communication, in asking for what you want, it isn't about, I don't want to listen to you. Give me, I want what I want, and here's what you need to give me sort of thing. That's not going to work. But where it's taken from appreciation of the other person's position, especially if it's something that is almost working for you, but not quite, this is really for relationship conversations, then redirecting them by simply saying, 
I really appreciate what you're doing and what, or what you're saying or what you mean. However, what I really would love is if we shifted it this way. That would work even better for me. So it's an encouragement and invitation versus a block and demand, which is what most people do when they ask what they want. So I'm going to break this down a bit more for you to understand how you may use it in other, other areas of your life too. A lot of times what happens is, oh, I was going to save it for tomorrow. It may go together. Okay, let me see. Let me see for a second. I said I, I may be doing a series on better communication. And I have one for tomorrow that might actually belong to today as well. Let me see. So let's see if it fits or not. Well, mm, okay, I'll leave that one for tomorrow. I'm going to give you a little piece of it today because this is the thing. When we ask for what we want, what we don't do oftentimes is listen. Now, I'm going to talk about that in a whole other level tomorrow in, the, in part two of this apparent new series that maybe we'll see what happens. This is about asking for what you want. Tomorrow is about listening authentically. So that's a preview, by the way. But the thing about it is when we ask for what we want, we have a habit of tending to just think all about ourselves. It's like, what do I want? Oh, I want this, I want this. And we don't actually yet oftentimes receive or respect that or what is around us. So we don't get to appreciate what people are putting forward either. And it creates this um, jarring experience for other people. So when you ask for what you want, you're cutting them off and in some ways shocking them abruptly, which is not what you really want to do if you want to enroll them in something you want. So if you're asking for what you want from other people, what you really want is them to be amenable, accessible, and available to give you what you want. Make sense? When you don't invite them into the conversation, when you don't appreciate where they're coming from, and when you don't honor who they are where they are, you're limiting your ability to get what you really want which is why I said at the beginning, it's so important for you to, to basically thank them and prize them to a degree. Again, authentically, not making stuff up. So that what the, when you invite them to help you get what you want, they're more amenable, more, can do, more aligned to it, and probably more willing to help you. I know from experience in the past where I've actually had a need for something. It wasn't something that necessarily I wanted, but I needed something. Where I go up asking people, that you know, I need this. Can you help me? I need this. Can you help? Can you help me? I need this. Can you help me? I didn't get much response, and now I look back and go, well, of course I didn't get response. I didn't invest in finding out more about them first. When you want to ask for what you want, and I'm talking this about in communication skills, not necessarily about asking for the universe for something, which I'm only really throwing it back in about that too. But when you really get to the place where you are wanting to ask for something from somebody else. Make sure you value and appreciate who that somebody else is. So there's a level of intimacy and, and connection. So when you ask for what you want, it's received on a more open level. I mean, this is pretty basic stuff I know. And for a lot of people out there, they know this, but I know even my own journey, and I'm sort of expert at this. <laughs> I made this mistake more than once. So I suspect some of you watching might be having the same experience where you've made that mistake. When you learn how to ask what you want, which starts with well, first, it starts getting clear what you usually really want. But secondly, and first outward expression is to check in with the person you're asking from, what it is that they are about, what it is they're looking for. In fact, sometimes you can even make it more powerful. So, hi, Sue. Thank you. Appreciate you making this good point. Um, that when you are asking them for what they want, in some ways it can be more powerful to actually serve them by asking for what they want first before you even ask for what you want in return. It's in a way what it does is it creates a more, it invites a level of generosity because sometimes the most powerful way of getting what you want is to help somebody else get what they want. In a way, that's what my work is as well. In just to be totally transparent, I get what I want, which is to love what I do and get paid money to do it. But to do that, I could help other people get what they want. That's that's a wonky side of ways explaining it but it's kind of that energy of energetic it's like it's not just take 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 it's about giving to give giving to receive rather so you're giving to other people to get back from other people and it's that generosity of spirit that also makes you more available to receive as well so to get what you really want to ask what you really want it actually is more about asking what you can do to help other people what you can do to inspire other people what you can do to uplift other people it may just be as simple as giving them a hug or maybe as simple as helping them across the street. It can be anything of any scale. Because then you put them in a place, one, where they feel, perhaps, if you've found somebody nice, where they are more um, ready to exchange or, or feeling almost, not so much indebted, I don't want to use that word, 
but they're more willing to um, let's say this give back because they've been given to let's put it that way so when you have this understanding that there is an absolute exchange happening both ways you can pre preface your your desire to get what you want but make sure that they get what they want and it's a oftentimes a simple practice but a lot of us don't do that it's tempting just to go to somebody and say hi um, I need your help can you help me with this versus hi how are you what's going on can I help you with something I actually have a favor I want to ask but I want to help you first that's it's honest and it's also more authentic and again as I said at the beginning authentic praising authentic prizing authentic appreciation is fundamental to make this work so when you really want to ask for what you want start by getting clearer first of what you want and then second get clear about what they want help them first get help second I know this is a new way of teaching people but it might just be effective in your life to get what you really want more easily than you've done in the past again the listening piece that I dropped a hint about here is going to be a much bigger topic tomorrow because I'm really getting clear how important that's talk about it. how important it is to talk about that as well but I want to give you this one because there are enough people in relationships who are having real challenging times because they don't they haven't practiced exactly so yeah thank you sharing abundance versus need that's a very good point so thank you for that good point um, so a lot of relationships where they go sideways because the person when person A gets upset with person B because person B is not doing what person A wants so person A goes that's not what I want I want this well it doesn't give the person B any yearning or desire to actually help person A get what they want because they're not getting served in any way so to sort of distill down the cliff notes to what I said at the beginning when you are so when partner A is really wants to change partner B's behavior response what they're doing to first of all accept appreciate and thank them for what they're doing or being or how they are or something similar to that and then invite the redirection of their choice which is again like the martial art movement to deflect and rearrange it's much more likely to get the result you want and more importantly it doesn't violate the relationship the challenge has been in my friend's case I, I, I was basically they're not sure if they're going to be together anymore because of this rift that happened because the way the communication didn't handle very well so this is a reminder to everybody else <laughs> that you don't have to do the same thing but it really comes back to can you create can you create change in your relationship to get what you want by changing the way that you offer your support to then encourage change in the response can you then become able to receive what you want by really appreciating where they are and what they're doing so then you think they actually be more willing to be flexible and change and transform to what you really want anyway this can actually raise the vibration of your relationships and allow you to have a much healthier relationship than you've ever had before I know for myself just reflecting my own history a lot of my relationships ended because we had arguments that didn't get resolved it's one of my old patterns from many years ago I didn't have the skills then that I have now certainly I didn't have the understanding then that I have now and I certainly know differently how to be in connection and communication in a relationship of any sort romantic friendship social business whatever relationship because of the stuff I've learned which is why I'm teaching all this stuff through Facebook live and in my courses the thing about this all these relationships is every single one of them has one thing in common which is ourselves so I know in the work I'm doing more and more as I mentioned at the beginning this self relationship expertise that I'm bringing forward is something that's really important to me because every relationship out there starts with the one in here so um, as I mentioned in other broadcasts as well I do have a new course new program I've offered called, the, called coming home to yourself which is part of this work now it's becoming more fundamental and some of the stuff I'm teaching will help you make this part easier too so it is connected it's not just a shameless plug well it is a shameless plug <laughs> it's an invitation but understanding this will help you find how to be more effective in your communication how to be more able and available to receive what you really want and to be less invested in making things change when it's just a matter of ego because when you're really learning how to support yourself and my coming home to yourself course is helping you with that then your desire to be heart driven versus ego driven is much clearer so I'm going to put a link for that in the comments you can check it out it is my latest and greatest offering um, I'm oh, keeping the doors open for registration for, for enrollment for a little bit longer until I have a few more people in the course because I want to start with a, a good solid group 
because this is going to be fun. With that, um, done the promotion, taught you everything you need. Yeah. Okay. So that's that's <laughs> this is part. This is um, good communication number one. There's another one tomorrow which I'll be sharing about listening. I already know that one. They may not be the elders. I don't know yet. This is literally in the moment teaching stuff. Um, but I want to give you this as a place to start. So asking for what you want is a way to get where you want to go, but ask for what, what you want the right way will make it much easier. Um, that's about it, I think. If you have if there's any questions or thoughts, please put them in the comments below and I'll respond when I sign off. It's something that is really pivotal piece for other people in their relationships. And again, I'll put a link in the comments for my Coming Home to Yourself course, so you can check it out and have a look. It is a pay what you want, because this is where you get to decide what you want to pay. Yeah, it gets interesting that way. Um, but I want to make sure you get this teaching. It's a fundamental piece of having better relationships and better communication with everybody around you, whether it's somebody at the grocery store or with somebody in an intimate relationship. It's everything in between. So with that, I thank you for watching. I'll be back in tomorrow at the same time, same channel. And my person oh, before I do that, I'm jumping ahead of myself. This is my Facebook Live I do every, do every day at 5 p.m. Pacific time on my personal page, which is facebook.com forward slash Barry Selby. The replays go onto my business page, which is barryselby.author, and also onto my YouTube channel, which is Barry Selby. Please subscribe to the, my channel. And there's a playlist on there called Messages from the Masculine. Um, so if you want to watch the replays, you can find them by business page or on YouTube, easy to, easy to watch. So with that, I think I'm now complete. I do appreciate you watching, as always. Back again tomorrow at 5 p.m. Pacific time for a little talk about listening. Unless something else happens in the meantime, this is, that's the topic that's on top of mind right now. But things can change. And with that, thank you for watching. Again, the link will be in the comments if you check it out. If you have any questions, thoughts about this, please put them in below in the comments. If you want to get some help in this area, please message me. And uh, that'll be about it. I thank you for watching. I'll see you again tomorrow. Take care. Bye.